Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Tuesday morning. It is the 26th day of September 2023. This is the morning briefing coming to you from my Home Weather Office. And as I look out the window from the Home Office this morning, it's cloudy. Yeah, and there have been some sprinkles in a few areas of the last few hours, the early morning hours. Um, but uh, all of that will be clearing out and it's going to turn out to be another nice day. But what we're going to be highlighting this morning is taking a look ahead to our next chance of rain um, and, and as we head toward the weekend. And so I'll show you the latest thinking on that. I do expect the thinking on that to change a little bit over the next few days. So if you do have outdoor plans coming up for the Sierra uh, for Friday and into Saturday, just kind of take this as uh, an advisory, if you will, as opposed to this is the the, the, uh, the be-all, end-all forecast. I think this is going to be uh, changing somewhat over the next uh, couple of days. So let's start off with what's happening this morning. This is the cloud cover that a lot of you are seeing, and I'm seeing from the home weather office. We have clouds extending from Butte County all the way down through Placer, El Dorado, and into Calaveras County, as well as over looks like most of Sacramento County and San Joaquin County. But you can already see the, the, uh, the clearing back in here some nice clearing coming into the valley, and this will be dissipating most likely by late morning in most areas, and we will get back into some sunshine. Also, I just I just love this feature, this, these beautiful little wave clouds. And so what's going on here is the the flow aloft is kind of, is going perpendicular to these lines. So if you see these lines of clouds here, you can picture that the wind is going perpendicular to those. And so this is like uh, like ripples in a stream when the water goes over uh, some some rocks. You can see the the down down water downstream from those um, from those rocks. You get these little these little waves, and that's what happens here: is rising, falling, rising, falling, rising, falling. And as you get the rising, you get the uh, the clouds, and the falling, you get the clearing. But yeah, little little wave clouds, and also a little. Um, Still a little too cloudy to see how much smoke is lingering up here. It looks like there still might be some smoke lingering up here from the fires in southwest uh, Oregon. We'll see how much is left after the rain that we did get. And there was some pretty good rain. So this is from the California Nevada River Forecast Center. Make this a better frame here for you. And uh, it may be a little bit uh, tough to read, but these areas highlighted in uh, this orange and uh, magenta colors here. This is over two inches of rain. This is over the last 24 hours. And this is great because this is where the fires have been burning. Also, the fire burning in southwest Oregon looks like they got at least an inch of rain. And as you come farther south, the rain amounts are quite a bit less. A couple of uh, one hundredths of an inch of rain. Let's see, what's the spot that got a quarter of an inch? Forbestown picked up like a quarter of an inch of rain. I'm not sure about these two obs. These are preliminary, so I uh, wouldn't be surprised if these two are uh, incorrect. Sometimes... Um, we get some bad data in here. And although it doesn't show it, uh, the executive airport I saw did report a trace of rain. I think we also had a trace of rain at SAC International. And that's that's going to be about it. So let's take a look at uh, the the uh, the overnight run and show you what's, what's happening here. So here is our nice uh, little trough. Help keep temperatures down today with clearing. Daytime highs up around 80 or so in the valley. Average high is 87. And this is into the day Wednesday. This is the day Thursday. Thursday, we could have a bit of a north flow. It doesn't look like it's going to be uh, too uh, too gusty. But with a bit of an offshore flow, we may see temperatures get back up to around average. Here comes the next kink in the um, in the jet stream, helping to bring in the next trough. This is Friday. This is Friday night. This is Saturday. So another deep trough. For everyone, this means that we will be seeing cooler weather. Once again, with temperatures staying below average, talking about highs in the 70s. So it'll certainly feel like fall for these first couple of days of October. But what about getting rain? Well, from that, let's go to uh, the, the GFS here and talk about the rain that we may see. This is, uh, this is Thursday. Yeah, that north gradient doesn't look all that great. And as we get into the day on Friday, this is Friday midday. Friday afternoon. This is Friday around 8 o'clock. Some light rain going through the valley. Again, I expect that the exact timing of this and location of this to change. So if you have outdoor plans on Friday night, like Friday night football or something like that, then don't take this at face value just yet. We'll fine tune this. And then as we get into the day on Saturday, this is Saturday around midday, this looks more believable. 
that the rain will be kind of banked up here against the uh, the crest of the Sierra. And you see a few blue spots there, likely going to be some snow at elevations above 7,000 feet. Nothing too uh, too heavy though. And this is Sunday. We're going to have to include the chance of some showers on Sunday, but nothing for the valley. And in terms of how much precipitation we're looking at, let me go to total precip accumulation. Just from this run, and again, keep in mind that this run is just one run, and we'll see a lot more between now and by the time we get to the day on Friday. It shows about a tenth of an inch of rain or so around Sacramento onto the west slope, maybe a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and maybe an inch in the high Sierra. And again, there could be some snow above 7,000 feet. So all of that is into Friday and Saturday, and maybe lingering into Sunday as well for parts of the mountains. Uh, so there, there'll be more that we'll fine tune on that. But again, if you have outdoor plans, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, especially for those of you in Plumas County, for those of you that are going to be around Tahoe, Alpine County, uh, maybe even into Mono County, just kind of keep in mind that we are going to have the chance of rain, but we'll fine tune the where's, the when's, the how much's over the next couple of days. This is still kind of a, a very broad stroke sort of look at what may be happening. But the weekend is going to stay quite a bit cooler as we turn the month, uh, turn the calendar over to the month of October. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. Uh, let's see, it's Tuesday. That means there will be a Facebook live chat tonight at 8 o'clock, barring anything else that might be going on. And uh, I'll be, of course, on TV at uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 and 11 with the latest on what we are expecting. So that's what I've got for you this morning. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you later.